All right, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna choose four ingredients for um, the basket, okay? Um, so unlike chopped, I don't have a huge like pantry of items to cook with. I have what soy sauce, seaweed, ketchup in the fridge, mayonnaise, and a few eggs. So not much. So I'm gonna go to the store to buy these four ingredients as well as ingredients to cook with. So yeah, let's see what happens. So I ended up getting stuck with um, chicken feet, pineapple, apple butter, and dragon fruit. Uh, I've never used chicken feet before, nor have I used apple butter, but today is the day for new experiences, I suppose. Uh, so my, I'm thinking I'm going to marinate my chicken feet with uh, the apple butter and pineapple just for a sweet, like tangy taste. Um, Add some spices in there, add some, you know, some more punch to it. Uh, also, making a, maybe making a slaw or a, a salad with the pineapple and the dragon fruit just to have a sweetness on the plate. And then, so I'm gonna go to the store now and uh, buy, those, buy those four base ingredients as well as stuff to make uh, the sides and everything else too <laughs> so yeah i got overwhelmed as soon as i walked into the store there was so much food there which is not surprising because it's a grocery store but still i didn't have a list and i kind of just freestyled it the final basket included red onions yellow onions pineapple garlic tomatoes sesame oil mustard a couple seasonings and an orange and also radish, which I'm still not sure why I bought. I couldn't find the chicken feet, dragon fruit, or apple butter at the first store, but I changed stores and found the apple butter and dragon fruit almost instantly. The chicken feet, still MIA. All right, y'all, I just got back from the store, and as it turns out, I cannot find chicken feet whatsoever. So I bought chicken thighs instead. I know it's totally different and it's much less of a challenge, but you know, I tried my best. I went to four different stores, four, okay? Um, but I do have chicken thighs. I do have the pineapple, dragon fruit, and the apple butter, which is also kind of hard to find. So um, the plan is this. Um, so for the chicken, I'm gonna marinate that with red onions, garlic, couple seasonings, um, like Chinese pepper, maybe some five spice in there. Um, I'm going to, for the fruit, I'm going to com combine the pineapple and the dragon fruit with the apple butter for, um, and, gl and glaze it and grill it on the, the stove for a kind of a hot grill, sweet finish. Um, also gonna do some crispy rice cakes as a base. Let's just see y'all, I don't know. Chicken was seasoned with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, brown sugar, Chinese pepper, soy sauce, mustard, and a bit of mirin. It's also sitting in a tub of red onions and garlic. I slapped some plastic wrap on there and let it marinate in the fridge for about two hours. And now it's time to prep the pineapple, prep the apple butter, and somehow tackle this beast of a fruit because <laughs> get it like dragon fruit <laughs> the plan was to score the fruit with a nice sharp knife and then take a spoon around the outside so each piece fell out smooth like butter ah this is great love it stirring some pineapple and dragon fruit Stirring some pineapple and dragon fruit. I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes or so to get the juices combined. Did someone say juices? Okay y'all, so quick update. The pineapple and the dragon fruit are now going to be called a salsa. So not a huge like change in design, but a change in the name. And names mean things, words mean things. 
Also, y'all, I'm glad you're here. If you're watching this straight through, I appreciate you. If you're not, I understand we have, you know, lives. We can't always watch um, whole videos. But if you're still here watching this whole thing, you are my partner, my homie, my pal, and I appreciate you. So I bought this guy right here for the video. Isn't this cool? I'm gonna break this. Retrieve your pineapple mix from the fridge. Add your apple butter and your butter butter and heat that thing up. Mix this together and also add some brown sugar. You're gonna wanna end this dish with a squeeze of fresh orange juice. And now it's time for the rice. Like the great vanilla ice once said, rice, rice, baby. These turned out good, but next time I'll add more soy sauce for a more profound color. This is a chicken. She's so cute, huh? Um, she's going in. Fresh off the jet, struck with them Gillette, fresh still wet. Pass it like bread, she's going, she's going in, so. She's going in, she's going in. The chicken is chickening. I'm chilling. I'm see well, what's up? Uh, but yeah, it's cooking right now. Should be done soon. I'm gonna plate it, present it, and get judged. All right, y'all, so now it's time to plate. Got my rice cake right here. I'm gonna put the chicken on top of that. Uh, this looks good. So it's sat and the onions, sat and the garlic. It's got that nice taste to it, now I smell it. Um, I'm missing color for sure. Very bland. But um, the chicken smells amazing. It's a surprise, surprise. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> My bad. I'm gonna add some raw onions to it, I think. Some raw onions on the side would be good for it. I'm also gonna sprinkle some orange on top. Orange zest on top. I got the zester right here. Oh, uh, didn't work. Okay, so I think I'm ready with the presentation. It's got onions on top, and it's got the pineapple dragon fruit slaw type concoction slaw sauce I think um let's try it I have for you today soy mustard chicken thighs with a tropical apple salsa okay so now it's time for the taste test my first impressions are that it's a very pretty plate but the plate itself is too big the chicken is just there and there's a little white space around it it needs something else on the plate next time um but it's very pretty very aesthetically pleasing very tender okay very tender huh. cooked nice and nice and white mmm hold on now the chicken is very good let me get some of the rice in there and some of the salsa on top Mm. Okay. Mm. The chicken is good, but the salsa is very, very sweet. The chicken needs more to kind of the sweetness of the salsa. So next time, a bit more punch in the chicken. Mmm. The rice is very crispy. I like it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm, good. Mm, 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 mm. This is very good. That's a fact. But the ingredients were uh, chicken thighs, pineapple, dragon fruit, and apple butter. The apple butter is in this dish, but it's very subtle. So. If I were on chopped, I might get chopped for that. Um, you can taste it because it adds sweetness to the salsa, but it's very, very subtle. I forgot it was in the basket until just now. 
So the apple butter, I can taste it now. It's very much in the glaze itself. Not so much the the drier parts of the, of the of the salsa, but it's very much in there and it's very good. The raw onions on the on the side, bro, they're so good. They're so good. Sorry, good is such an important word. They're really good, really good. Um, wow, good choice, guys. So, what's the verdict? Um, the verdict is. I would make this again. I would eat this again. I would serve this at dinner parties and unless they were vegan. And yeah, um, I used all the ingredients. The ingredients were transformed. I made dragon fruit taste like something and that's hard to do. Yeah, bro. Three thumbs up. Hey y'all, thank you for freaking watching. I'm glad you came. I don't know about y'all, but I really enjoy cooking. It might not always be the best thing the first time you make it, but if you keep trying and trying and tasting and tasting, you'll eventually have your best go-to dish. And that, my friends, is a life metaphor. All right, y'all, I will see you soon. TTYL, peace out. <laughs>